Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I make my own window and glass cleaner. Um, for, this works for mirrors and um, you know any windows or anything and I also will use it for um, sometimes I'll use it for taking off sticky stuff off of things and um, you know just various things and sometimes I'll also use like kind of the same ratios but a little bit more rubbing alcohol in it um, and put some aloe vera gel that's like you know aloe vera gel that stays that's shelf stable I'll put some of that in there too and use that as a nail polish removal remover because the aloe vera gel helps it to not be quite so harsh and drying on my cuticles and stuff and it's um, so uh, it kind of helps counteract some of the rubbing alcohol stuff but the rubbing alcohol works really good to take off your nail polish so um, I use it for that but for this recipe it's just going to be like about half rubbing alcohol you can dilute it even further to that to be like a fourth of the mixture being a rubbing alcohol and the rest being either um, like reverse osmosis water or distilled water. I use RO water just because I have that as my house filter or my water filter and um, or if you're you know you don't have any hard water deposits in your water but that's not really something that we have for tap water so it's easier just to have get a bottle of distilled water or use your RO fil filter if you have one to um, make sure you don't get any hard water, any water deposits on your glass or mirrors. Uh, sometimes I'll even use this on like my faucets and stuff that are um, like stainless, not stainless steel, but like the nickel kind of thing, like the silvery stuff, whatever, to clean those ones. But I usually just use my Norwex cloth for that. And so when I do clean my windows or mirrors, I either use just you know like you normally do with like Windex or whatever just use a paper towel to um, go over it and just you know rub it clean or I will use um, I will spray it first and then wipe it off with a Norwex cloth like or microfiber cloth whatever and sometimes that gets it all clean but sometimes want to be extra sh like extra streak free and um, like if it didn't quite get, get it all the way streak free the first time then I'll just use um, like a glass um, I sometimes I use like my I have a glass cleaning cloth because sometimes I'll use my microfiber cloth with just like water to go over it and then I use my glass cleaner cloth so it depends I just have it in my little box of stuff that I carry around with me through my house when I'm cleaning so um, but I just like to use this because it doesn't smell horrible and leave a toxic odor like um, traditional window cleaners and it's really cheap and easy to make I mean the bottle of alcohol is like two dollars or less a bottle and then <laughs> that lasts me quite a while so um, anyways after this longer introduction I'll show you how to make it it's literally going to be like five seconds <laughs> so let's go make it okay so I have a spray bottle it's um plastic so I don't if I do put essential oils in here for it to smell extra good then I don't I don't put any kind of citrus oils in here because that eats away and breaks down the plastic faster but I will put some essential oils in here usually so that way I could even use this as a linen spray if I wanted to um, basically I just take my alcohol and I fill it up I'm going to show you with um, a microfiber cloth and my cleaner how I do it. Spray it on and, and then I always go one way. There. Now my mirror 
it's really clean. If you use um, a glass cleaner cloth, this is just a microfiber cloth, but if you use a glass cleaner one, then um, it swipes a lot faster. I have a glass cleaner cloth, and so I'll show you. So you just one swipe, and it's pretty much streak free. So as you can see, this is a really easy way to clean your windows. My my mirror didn't really look that dirty in the camera, but it was kind of dirty. There was some water splotches on it, but um, it gets that off really well. And if you have really dirty windows, like outside or whatever, it does clean that really well as well. I just, I'll go over it first with that with like a paper towel or, you know, a microfiber cloth. And um, I'll clean it first, and then I'll go over it again and use a clean cloth to make it streak free. Also, I use this on my tiles in my shower because I'll get hard water deposits on them. And if I use vinegar, vinegar can break, break down seals that you have on your grout and stuff. And so I don't really want to use the vinegar on that um, for caulking and things. Um, I've heard that's not good for it. Acidity can just break things down. And it's not good for certain types of stones and stuff like marble. It's not good for that. It can create pits. I just have regular just ceramic tiles, but they ma it makes it really shiny. It gets all the hard water deposits off. And now, and then I have shiny shower again. So I use it for things like that. And then, of course, I put um, some essential oils in it. And when I want the essential oils to come out more, like if I don't care about smelling the essential oils, I just use it like normal. But if I'm going to want it, for the essential oils and I shake it up so that way the essential oils are dispersed evenly in the um, solution and then I spray it and then I can smell the essential oils so since the essential oils go to the top like I don't have to use the essential oils if I don't want to whatever this is called um, goes down to the bottom and the essential oils are up here right and so if I want to use this as a room spray then I shake it up and spray it and then I have a room spray because the essential oils are not dispersed but if I don't want to use the essential oils, then I don't shake it up. And so, I mean, you can smell essential oils every time you're cleaning. I don't really feel like ever shaking it every single time I go to use it. So, um, anyways, I hope you've in, like found this video helpful. And if you have any questions, uh, please leave them down in the comment section below. And um, if you want to know any other easy cleaning things that... To do I only do easy stuff like like this I put peppermint in it because um, that helps keep away bugs I'll buy my own cleaner like um, I like to get the seventh generation one sometimes during this time of the year when there's a lot more bugs coming in the house because I find that like the time in it keeps away bugs a lot easier and so I'll also put a bunch of peppermint in it like 30 drops of peppermint and I'll spray it around my the, like the perimeter of around all my doors and my windows and I'll also use it as a floor cleaner kind of thing <laughs> because it seems to work really good at keeping away bugs and um, you know just little things like that that I do that um, kind of seems to help and to work and make my life a little bit easier because I like cleaning things that make cleaning easier and harder so um, that's one of the reasons why I make this because I always have rubbing alcohol on hand for taking off sticky stuff and it's easier for me to make this with something that I have on hand all the time that's really cheap than to remember to buy to buy it at the store so and like this bottle that this came in this was I got for free it was like ten dollars if I would have bought it and it has basically the exact same ingredients that I just put in it so that's a little ridiculous so I keep it because the bottle's really nice so maybe it was a $10 bottle, I don't know. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and have a nice week, you guys. Bye.